Okay. So, gentlemen, uh, I want to thank you all for having us here today in the great town of Montgomery. Um, I'm James McCormick, so um, I actually host a television show called Digging History, and it is on the West Virginia Library Commission Network. Um, we work with all of the local libraries, and we really enjoy telling the story of West Virginia. So if you wouldn't mind introducing yourself, Mayor, and, and then we'll go down the line and tell us what you do. Uh, I'm Mayor Greg Ingram. I've been in Montgomery for, since uh, 1992. I've uh, been mayor for three and a half years, uh, almost the end of my first term. And Montgomery's a si exciting little town with a lot of history. Um, this is um, one of the small coal towns, uh, as you'll hear. We have coal trains that still go through town. Um, and it has uh, a, a wonderful history of uh, coal mining. Uh, there's a lot of uh, pioneering that went on here. There was. Uh, let me give the train a break. Yeah, and, and yeah. Oh, it's an Amtrak too. Well, that's an exciting thing. You guys have got an Amtrak station we coming do. here, right? Yep. Come on in. Morning. Hey. Good morning. How's it going? Th I, actually, this time just oh, man, right. Let's go. Yeah. KG. Greg, hey, nice to meet Thomas. you. Sir. Good to meet Thomas, you. George. Greg Ingram. Great, nice He's to known as KG King George, one of the original <laughs> diggers out here. Man, yeah. it's good to see you again. Holy cow! How are you doing? Good, good. And there is Wingy again. <laughs> Hi, I'm Tim. Greg Ingram. Nice to meet Morning. you. Nice to meet you. Let's All talk. right. Yes. Nice to meet you. Why don't you guys, don't you guys set up here? We're just kind of talking about Montgomery right now. I'm oh, shooting nice. a little film. And, okay. And, uh, Asking some questions. There we go. All right, I got coffee and everything. Oh, tea. <laughs> <laughs> if you would like some coffee, I'm no, sure we could probably round I just some had a up. Massive cup. Oh yeah, yeah. I just drank a whole cup. I so, the mayor. Here's mm -hmm. the mayor. Uh, he was telling us a little bit about starting into the history. We just actually started talking. So, uh, tell us a little bit about Montgomery. What makes this town so historically significant? Well, it's like many small towns in West Virginia. Uh, if you if you look at small towns, they most of them are from uh, severance businesses. It's either coal, gas, or timber. Uh, Montgomery was uh, primarily coal. Probably in the earlier years, timber. There was a lot of timber on the Canal River, um, and it's a it's a very uh, uh, unique community in that the coal mines. This this town was created because of coal. Right. And uh, that's 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 just true in West Virginia. Most of your small communities were were around severance businesses. And uh, I was born and raised in Montana, and it was uh, copper mines, silver right. mines, gold mines, and right. that's how we were founded. Too. Yeah. So um, there's a lot of coal history here, and uh, this community at one time, uh, 1912, in, in, in that era, uh, was a very booming town. Hmm. Uh, probably. Four or five thousand residents. I don't know. Probably that's uh, the same time as a couple of our shows we did were based on the mining wars in Mingo County and right and all that. And that was right around the same time when they were having those rebellions. And yes, stuff. and and just down the road was uh, the Paint Creek and the Cabin Creek. Uh, mm, there's wars, books about that. Which is yeah. extensive books. And that's oh, just, yeah. just down the road. That's where the, the, that's where the the coal mines actually that's actually the start mother jones you oh yeah yeah she was part she of was our in, show she was, yeah, yeah, she was yeah, yeah. imprisoned she was in, uh, in a house oh, about okay. three miles down the road yeah oh, no okay way. wow that's wow. that's all see i knew it would tie i'm an art buff let me show yeah. you that word <laughs> i knew we were close enough to where we were it was on the kentucky border mm -hmm. some of where the hatfields were in well we didn't have the mccoy and then we did the mine wars but but it was all kind of related and yeah there she is here's mother jones yeah and it says, pray for the dead and fight like hell for the living. Oh, yes. yeah. That was her motto. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. She was here in Montgomery. We have a picture yeah. of her here in Montgomery. No, no. kidding. Very cool. Oh, that's awesome. So, right. huh. uh -huh. Yeah, that's the same 